In our previous lessons, we learned how to interpret univariate data set. Let's say we are given a histogram. We'll be able to interpret our histogram based on our four acronyms that we have learned before, which is SOCS, wherein we can tell the shape, the outlier, the center, and the spread of the distribution by just looking at your histogram. Now, for this particular chapter, since we are working with two quantitative data and we're looking into their relationship based on our graphical display, we'll be able to interpret their graph or uh, the interpretation of the graphs through our new acronym here which is FODS. Now in describing the uh, interpretation of a scatter plot we could use F for form, look for O outlier, D direction of your scatter plot and S for the strength of your relationship in your scatter plot. Now for the form it could either be linear or nonlinear Outlier is if there's an outlier or not. Direction, it could either be positive or negative. And for the strength, it could either be weak or strong. So let's have an example. Let's say we need to make a scatter plot to show the relationship between the points per game and the number of wins of some of the teams in the SEC football team. So here are some of the data set that is going to be represented in our scatter plot. So here we have the teams from Alabama. Arkansas and so on and we have their points per game and the number of wins. Now if we're going to plot this particular data set in our scatter plot, our explanatory variable will be the points per game and the re response variable here will be the number of wins. Now in representing your scatter plot, we are seeing a pattern in our dots that you are seeing in my board right now. And just like what I've mentioned, we need to use our acronym to be able to interpret the complete um, interpretations or points that we need to mention when we are looking at a scatter plot. So let's start with its form. So for the form, we know that the relationship between the EV and the RV has a linear pattern, so we can say that it's somewhat linear. And for the outlier, we're seeing that there is no outlier in this data set because most of the dots are following the same pattern, which is going up. Now, if you are concerned about how an outlier would look like in a scatter plot, let's say this particular data set, which is we know non-existent, this one can be considered an outlier because it's deviating from the pattern of the pack right here. So the dots is increasing and you have here one dot that is not following the pattern of your um, formation. So this one will be considered as an outlier. Now since this is just imaginary, we know that it's non-existent so we're going to erase that. So that's how you identify an outlier in a scatter plot. Now for the direction, we know that this particular behavior has a positive direction because it's going up. So if this is a line, we know that the slope here is positive. That's why the direction can also be described as positive. And the strength of the relationship between the EV and RV is determined by how close the dots are to each other. And if we're just going to look at this particular scatter plot, we would say that it's fairly strong based on the individual dot that is um, getting closer and closer together um, as we are looking at it in our scatter plots. So that is how we interpret two bivariate or bivariate data and its relationship using our new acronym which is FODS or FODS, Form, Outlier, Direction, and Strength. Now, when we are examining the uh, relationship between the two bivariate data, we always need to uh, write it out in uh, paragraph form. So if we're going to transform our uh, FODS into a more comprehensive uh, description of your scatter plot interpretation, we would say that the scatter plot shows a strong, positive, and linear relationship between the SEC team's point per game and their number of wins. There is no apparent outlier from the given data set and this is how we usually write our interpretation when we are looking at a scatter plot. We are mentioning the FODS by strong, positive, linear, and no apparent outlier. Now, to be able to interpret FODS, there are some options here that you will consider. So for the form, all you need to do is to see or check at your 
graph or scatter plot if it's linear or non-linear. For outliers, you just need to check if there is an existing outliers or not. And for the direction, it could either be positive or negative. And for the strength of your relationship, it could either be strong or weak. And this is how we describe or interpret the relationship between two quantitative data sets in this particular chapter.